hi guys welcome back to today's video i am just smiling because this video that i'm about to make is going to shock each and every one of you but i know that i might not even be the only one in this whole wide world who feels this way so somebody asked me the reason why i married my husband because we are on a live stream in tiktok and they were talking about husband and wife, love, blah, 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 you know, things like that. So they asked me, you no, know, it was a discussion. So I told them that for me, oh, I cannot tell you that I love my husband before I married him. I can't tell you now that I had a feelings for him. I, I, there was this feelings that I had about him, like this feelings of love, you know, what? <laughs> Because I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I told them that I didn't love my husband before I married him. I didn't marry him out of love. I did not. And that is the honest truth. For the first two, three, four years, my husband would always ask me, um, why did you marry me? I would laugh. I would tell him, I don't know. And that is the truth. And that is the truth. Yes, yeah, sometimes I used, to, I used to say, I love you. I love you. <laughs> but... but um, I never, ever, ever, ever loved him before I married him. Do not come for me. I will tell you the reason why. Um, when I met my husband, I met him during the time that, man, things were rough. Mentally, physically, I was going through a lot and a lot was going through me. Hey, ah, I was in asylum camp. I didn't know which way. I didn't know if I was going to stay in this country or not. I was going through depression, physical meltdown, uh, spiritual meltdown, um, psychological meltdown. I was going through everything that you can go through when you are through when you are in this asylum process. That was the period that. I was so aggressive this time. I was not happy with my situation. I was not happy with myself. I was not happy with anything at all. The only thing that I had interest was I was going to be doing a Dutch course in that condition. And I was also uh, going to church every Sunday. I was going to church. I was dedicated because that was the only place that I found peace. If I go to church, if I prayed, go for evangelism, that was the only way I found peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As at that time, this online uh, online preaching church was not rampant. So I had to travel really, really to church. So I was look I was only looking forward to Sundays. So um <laughs> This is the reason why, this is what I saw before I married my husband. Or what made me marry my husband. It was not love. It was not kind of any feeling, anything. In fact, I wasn't even thinking of the future. I wasn't thinking, what is our life going to end? How is life going to be? How is this one going to be? I wasn't thinking about that. The only reason I agreed to marry my husband was the fact that he made me smile. I know all of you used to say, why is my husband so serious? Whenever he's, he, my husband does not like camera. He does, his camera, I don't know, if he's allergic to camera, unless he wants to snap with his, with his own phone, you can snap him. But if I bring camera to snap my husband, he will burn his face. Anytime you feel like snapping, I can snap. Anytime you wants to do video, I, you will tell me that. Okay, do for me. But he doesn't smile. But is it this man that does not smile in pictures? He's the funniest human being that I know. That period when I was going through frustration, depression, alienation. It was only my husband that could make me smile. He would come then, he would talk and talk. On the phone one hour two hours who make me to laugh and laugh and that moment that we spoke that time we we're talking we talked i laughed so much 
I will laugh and laugh and smile. We will talk about things that has nothing to do with Germany, that doesn't have anything to do with the asylum system. We spoke about things that doesn't have anything to do with come and born for me so that you can get document. We, my husband, we were not talking about documentation, stay, this condition of the country. We spoke about things, other things. We spoke about good food, good dance, good clothes. Good, we spoke about things that was not common as at that time to talk about or to even think about. So, <laughs> I didn't marry him because of love. I did not feel any, like, uh, he's, he's uh, sexy. Uh, he's this. I did not have that kind of feeling for my husband. I did not. He made me laugh he made me happy and when i mean he made me happy he didn't give me money he didn't buy me gift he didn't uh, do anything special like it was not a monetary happiness it was not material things happiness it was just a genuine happiness that you know things that that made me laugh these things that made me smile things my husband is this kind of person that he can bring you out of the mood that you are, the, the very, very bad mood that you are. You will just talk about things. You will just laugh and laugh and laugh. It still happens to you today. It still happens today. He will just say something that will just laugh. So, I don't know how it feels to say, I love my husband. That is why I married him. No, I don't know. I used to tell people, there are people who, please, for those of you who said that you met your husband and you fell in love, how did you fall in love? How did you fall in love? How did you feel in love? How, did, how was this feeling? How, can you describe what this feeling was like or is like? Today, I cannot tell you I don't love my husband because I have come to... Uh, believe that love has even nothing to f to, to <laughs> it has nothing to do with feelings. You cannot say I cannot say or you can. I don't know how you feel. If you have an urge, uh, urge to sleep with someone, you find the person attractive. I don't think that is love. I don't think that is love. You cannot find every man attractive. But if you think that you feel an urge to be with a man, to be touched, to be kissed, um, and that is the reason you, that is love. That is, I don't consider that as love because that feeling, even as a married woman, you don't have that feeling for only your husband. If not, you will not have things like crush. You will not have see some men, you'll be crushing on them. If that is the case, you will not even leave that man. Even if that man is killing you, you will not leave him because uh, the body is still there. The sexiness is still there. But those are the things that you can get from any man. You can get from not even any man. You can get from many men. Not all the men, but you can get from many men. Okay? So, excuse me. So, I don't want to believe that that is this feeling or this urge to be touched, to be kissed, to be with a man is love so for today what i feel love is or what i consider as love for myself is the ability to share my life with him the ability to care for him to cook to clean to watch over him to make sure that he's doing well when he has issues to listen to advise to pray to be there for him so that is the way that i can say yeah that is now love um like when i go to the hospital when i'm in the hospital he cares when i can't cook when i am physically uh, not okay not well um he is there taking care of making sure that i have something to eat i have he's washing the clothes cleaning the house doing all sorts of things I think that is a show 
of love. I think that is now what love is. All these things that he gives, he's caring, he's loving, his words of encouragement, you know. I think that is what love is. I think for me. So the urge to be with him, you know, and to feel him sometimes, some days in the month, not every day. As a married woman, even as a young girl or as a single girl, you don't feel like being with a man every time. So I cannot say that one is lost. So <laughs> those days that you don't feel like be, touching, being touched or touch anybody, will you say that you are no longer in love? So for me, I didn't love my husband. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't love him before I married him. I loved, I married him because he made me happy. He made me smile. And I don't know, share your own experience with me. I want to hear, for those of you that says that you fell in love before and then you married and, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know what, um, let me know what this feeling is all about, how you feel. What is this feeling like? How does it feel like? Like, does it feel like a shock? Does it feel like when you're eating something that is very, very pepperish? Ooh, you know, like that. Is this kind of feeling I'm talking about? Let me know. Let me know on the comment section. But that is my story. See you next time. Bye.